what's up? Today we're going to be looking at how to play Ooh La 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 by EXO. Super super fun groovy song and it's not too difficult once you get the hang of the, the rhythm. Okay. So if you guys like this tutorial, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Cool. So let's zoom in into, zoom into the fretboard and have a look. Okay, so for the intro and the verse of the song we're using three chords. They are G sharp minor, C sharp minor 7, and D sharp minor 7. Okay. And then technically we also have an extra chord that is an A sharp diminished chord. Okay, but that's really a passing chord. We're not even playing that chord properly or fully. So if you don't know that chord, don't worry. And I'm going to show you how to play it anyway. And you can always just add it to your chord repertoire. Okay. So we're going to start off on this G sharp minor chord and we don't even play the bass note. So you don't have to bar the whole thing if you don't want to. I don't actually bar the whole thing. I kind of play it like this in this weird semi bar shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on the D string. Okay. Then we're going to play the B and G together. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing with the A string, A and then B and G together. Okay. Then back to the D string and do the same thing. Okay. So that's going to sound like this. Okay. Then to finish up this part, we're going to play A, G and D. Okay. And when you play the A for the first time, you kind of linger there for a little bit. Okay. So I'll play that part uh, slowly so you can get a feel for how that sounds. Okay. Then we move on to the D sharp minor seven shape. And since we're not actually even using the ring finger or this, uh, the, the D string for this chord, you don't even have to play that. Okay. I tend to just play it like this, which is like a cheat method or even simpler is you don't even have to borrow it at all. You can just play it like this. So that's four on the A string, four on the G string, and then five on the B string. Okay. Okay. Now, and then for this shape, what we're going to play is uh, this. Okay. So that's A string, then B and G together, then A. Okay. And then A and B and G again. So I'll play that slowly. Okay. Then we start up to the, the D sharp minus seven and then we play A and then B and G. Okay. That's a very common theme in the song to play the B and G together, um, preceded by a bass note in the D or G string. Okay. And to round off the, or to finish up the riff or this, this part of the progression, we're going to play the sixth string on the A twice, then fifth string on the D. Okay. And that finishes it up. So what I'll do now is I'll play that entire first part of the progression slowly, really, really slowly, so you guys can follow along. And if you can, try to play with. Okay, here we go. Cool. Okay. So let's look at the second part of the progression. It's going to be very, very similar. The only real difference is how we started and how we ended. Okay. So let's start, let's go back to the G sharp minus uh, shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to play, uh, okay, it's going to start off like that. So that is D, B and G together, then back to D. Okay. And then we're going to go A and then B and G together. Okay. Uh, like that. And then uh, we're going to play D and B and G together again. Okay, so, so far what we have is this. Then once again, we're going to end it off with A, G, A. Okay, so I'll play that part slowly, all together. Okay, then we're going to move on to the D sharp minor 7, sorry, the C sharp minor 7 shape and play played exactly the same as before and then the D sharp minor 7 same as before like that and now we're actually going to play this A sharp diminished shape or chord but we don't need the whole shape so you can either play it um, like this 
right? This is 565 on uh, the D, D string, G string, and B string, by the way. You can either play it like this, but, or you can play it like this. I actually bar it like this, because I find it easier since I come from this shape. Like that, okay. And then you just play um, D, G, and B. Like that, okay. So what I'll do now is I'll play the second part of the progression, the part we just learned, really, really slowly, and then I'll play the whole thing through. Okay. Okay, so now let's let's play the whole thing through slowly and then I'll speed it up a little bit after that. Play it a little bit faster now, uh, somewhere close to the actual song. Cool. Okay, so now let's have a look at the pre chorus. So the pre chorus has two distinct parts, and what you can do is you can literally just play the same chords because we, are, we do have the same chords. G sharp minor, C sharp minor seven, and D sharp minor seven. Okay, but in the in the actual song, they play two distinct parts. One is that riff that's very recognizable. The other is like a bassy acoustic guitar part that's um, a little bit more difficult to hear, but it is there. So I'll just show you how to play those two parts, and we can get into them. The riff is going to sound like this. takes you into the chorus. And the basic acoustic guitar part is going to sound like this. Cool. Okay, so let's learn the, the bassy part first and we'll get to the riff afterwards because this part's a little bit easier. So what we're doing over here is we're playing the fourth fret of the E string, okay, the low E string. And we're going playing it, then slapping, okay, and then we're doing a pluck, a muted pluck, so like that, and that, that kind of theme is going to happen a lot, so make sure that you've got that down and practice that. Then we're going to go to the sixth string of the, um, sorry, the sixth fret of the A string and do the same thing. Then go back to the fourth fret of the E string, then we're going to do a climb down, okay, so that's six, five, four on the A string. Uh, let's just play up until that part. So that's going to sound like this. Okay. Then we're going to do the slap pluck thing again and stay on this note. So. Okay. Then we're going to go to the back to the sixth, sixth fret. <laughs> and then we're going to play uh, this over here. Four, six, four, six. Okay. So I'll play that whole part slowly, so you can hear how that sounds. Cool, okay. Then we play the whole thing again, and towards the end we change it a little bit. So I'll show you, so I'll show you how to do that. That's the same, okay, up until there. Then once we get here, we go play the, the fourth string on the E, sorry, the fourth fret on the E, and then we just go like that. Okay, play that four times, one, two, three, four, and that, that, that leads us into the chorus. So what I'll do now is I'll play the entire riff um, slowly so you guys can play along with that. Okay. Okay, so let's have a look at the riff. So for the riff, we're going to start on the ninth fret 
of the B string and slide to the 11. Then we're going to play 9, 11, then 9, 7. Okay, so that's going to be like that. Then the rest of it is kind of palm muted. And we're going to start on the G string and play the 8th fret. Okay. Then the 6th fret. Then we're going to go to the D string and play this, the 9th fret. And then back to the 6th fret of the G string. Okay. So that's going to sound like this. That. Okay. Then we're going to play 6 on the D string twice. Then 6 on the G string. And then back to the 6th on the D string. Okay, so I'll just show you what we have so far. So it's... Okay, and then to finish that, that part off, we have 4 on the, the D string and 6 on the D string. Okay, so let's play that all together. Okay, then there's a pause. And then we, we just round it off by playing this. Okay, that is 6, 9 on the D string, then 6, 8 on the G string, 7 on the B string, then 8, 6 on the G string. Okay. And then immediately afterwards you play the riff again. So that's going to sound like this. Okay, and then once again you play the whole thing, and when you get to the end, the second time around, you only play, then it goes right into the chorus. So it's like, ooh la la la. Okay, and that's how you play the riff. So what I'll do now is I'll play the whole thing slowly. You guys can try to play along, and then I'll play it to speed afterwards. Okay. Now a little bit faster. Cool. Okay. So now we have the chorus, and the chorus luckily is exactly the same as the intro slash verse, right? Um, so nothing new over there. And then lastly, we have the bridge. Okay. And the bridge has a couple new chords. We've got an E major. Then a B major, okay, and then we also have an F sharp, and it's technically this shape of an F sharp, okay, which is a C major um, F sharp, like the C major shape for an F sharp. So what we're actually doing is we're playing a C major and just taking it up to the sixth fret. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm borrowing the sixth frets, the bottom five strings, and then I'm playing a C major with the rest of my fingers. Okay, this shape is not necessary, but I think it is what they use in the song, so you can just play this, um, this shape for the F sharp. Okay, and the last chord we have is an E add 9. And that is the same as an E major, but you take your pinky and put it on the second fret of the high E string. Okay, so I'll show you guys how to how the, how the bridge sounds. Okay, it's, it's pretty simple, we're literally just doing one strum per chord. So, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, E, 2, 3, 4, B, 2, 3, 4, you stay there, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, then E add 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, so on the 3, you change to the F sharp over there, or, you know, this one as well, if you want to. And then you just stay there for the rest of it. And that is it, okay? That's the entire bridge. And then you just play the chorus again, and you play the outro, and you're done. Cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, uh, share it with someone, leave a comment, and consider subscribing, because I'll be posting a lot more like this in the future. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time.